Today at Skateway, we're going to talk about Leslie speaker cabinets. I'll talk about how they work. I'll compare these two different Leslies. We'll talk about different models. If you need more specific information about Hammond organs or Leslies, you should check out CaptainFoldback.com. I'll put a link in the description. Today, I've got a Leslie 147 and a 125. Let's start talking about these. I've got these two Leslies turned around so we can see the back because this will allow us to see how they work. Before I take the plates off, these middle plates, I just wanted to talk to you about how they impact the sound. Um, without these plates, there's a lot more air moving around and the speakers aren't as isolated. I would recommend if you get an older Leslie that has a damaged back or is missing a back, that you order one or make one. The top and bottom plates do impact the sound, but this middle one is most important. Before I get the plates off, I want to talk about these badges that are on the back. If you're trying to find information about your Leslie, this is a good starting point. It tells me the model number, and it also gives me some more information. Serial number talks about a amplifier and without an amplifier. That's because this particular model was sold sometimes with an amplifier and sometimes without an amplifier. Again, if you need more in-depth information, I would go to CaptainFoldback.com. Here's the top section of the Leslie 147. This is where we're going to get our spinning speaker effect or sound. So this is a horn. It is powered by this drive belt right here, which is powered by a two-speed motor. That's how you get your fast setting and your slow setting. So this particular Leslie has two rotating sections, a top and a bottom. And how they work is the bottom has a woofer or a speaker that points down into a drum and we'll look at that in just a second and the drum spins. And the top section has a tweeter or a speaker that fires upward, it's pointed up and the sound is forced into this horn here and as the horn spins it gives us the effect. So here's the middle of our cabinet. We can see our bottom speaker, our 15 inch woofer. It's facing down because again, we want that sound to go towards that rotating drum, which is at the very bottom of this cabinet, which we'll look at in just a second. Over here we have our motor. This is a two speed motor. It controls the belt underneath that spins the rotating drum. Here's the bottom of our Leslie. We've got our rotating drum that I talked about earlier. And over here we have our amplifier. This is our input. So this is a tube amplifier and it's got two knobs, a volume knob, and over here we have a load knob. This changes the amount of ohms. Now this particular amplifier is a six pin input. You are going to need to figure out how many pins your Leslie amp has in order to make it work with your Hammond. Now they have certain kits that will allow you to hook your Hammond organ or any other type of organ up to this Leslie. If you need more information about that, I suggest checking out CaptainFoldback.com. This is my six pin connector cable. Now this is hooked up to my organ and it will allow me to send signal to my Leslie. So I wanted to show you a trick before I move on. This right here, this little dot right here, that lets me know which way to put the cable on to these six pins. So this little dot, this little dot should be on the top. That should be on the top and it's going to go in the middle of the top two pins. So that should help you plug your cable in. I've got the organ hooked up to the amplifier and now the Leslie is spinning. I've got it on its slowest speed and you can see that the rotating drum is spinning around. So that speaker fires down or points down into that drum and that will give us the effect that we're looking for. So if we go up and we look at the top we can also see the top horn is rotating. Underneath that foam right there is a tweeter that is pointing up and that's what gives our sound to this upper horn. Before we listen to the Leslie, let's talk about this other Leslie that we have, the 125. 
you can see that this one is empty on the top. It does not have a top rotor. That's why this cabinet is shorter than the 147. This is a 12 inch speaker, not as big as the Leslie 147. And it is a full range speaker. And it is pointed down into this drum in that drum rotates. This amplifier also has a six pin connector and that allows me to use it with my organ. All right, now that I've talked about how it works, let's hear how it sounds. I'm just gonna play a simple C chord. So that's how it works. Let's listen to the other Leslie and see if there's a difference in sound. This is the Leslie 125 plugged into my organ on the slowest speed. Let's hear how it sounds. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll put links to parts and other information in the description.